Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stace in the place and we are here in the place to be. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers by June. So please take a hot second to subscribe so you can watch the wildness that happens up in this place. And sometimes there may or may not be a poodle sighting. So, you know, why not? Anyhow, today we are going to go over the different types of candle warmers um, because I see a lot on Reddit and sometimes on Instagram and people are like, oh, you know, which candle warmer should I get? Why this, 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 that, and the third? And I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me, you know, give, give a little bit of my experience, give a little bit of my expertise as you should, <laughs> as one might say. Um, so we are first going to start off with this warmer here. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so this warmer is one that I purchased from Aldi's. Um, Aldi's is a great place to, um, pick up, like they have random items, um, every now and then. And so if you're an Aldi fanatic, then you already know. Um, but they have like great three wick candles. As you can see, there are some, or hopefully you can see down over here. Oh, right here. Bam. Tobacco petals. Trying to true. One of my faves. Total fave. Um, it should be in stores right now. Like if you see it, pick it up. Thank me later. Um, anyhow, so this is a two in one candle warmer. So Oh, let me put this down. Um, this way you can use your wax melts and put them on here. Um, and then you can also take this off and you're able to just sit your candle on top. Here, we will pick up a little Miss Orange Blossom apricot. Of course, you will take the top off. Oh my goodness. You'll take the top off um, <laughs> and warm your candle. And so with this one, um, I, I, I would recommend this one if someone likes having wax melts. And I think that it's great if you're a wax melt person because it's a good two for one for that. Now, for someone who wants to warm their candles, I wouldn't recommend this one. Why, you might ask? Because in order to get the scent from the candle, you're gonna have to warm this long enough so that it warms all of the wax all throughout the entire candle to get to the top when the scent can finally release itself. And it usually would take maybe like 45 minutes to an hour for the whole thing to like liquefy. And at that point, you're using up so much heat mixing around the oils and the chemicals of the candle and disturbing them to the point where it's like, are you really gonna, um, are you really getting the maximum amount of scent for the effort and energy that's going in? And when this um, candle finally like cools all the way down, all of the wax has been out here heated, like flowing around, doing its own little thing. So then if you go to rewarm it again, you know, there's no guarantee that um, you're gonna have that great of an experience as you did the first time. Um, you know, I just, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. I just feel like personally, I was going through candles faster with this method. So I personally don't recommend it, but I understand that it's like a super cheap way, um, uh, just to get into candle warming and trying it out. And sometimes people will use, um, I believe Walmart sells one that, um, you can use it to warm your candles or to keep your coffee mug warm. So that's a thing. Um, speaking of Walmart, another thing to consider if you are a wax melt person or if um, you're trying to use up like the little bit of the candle that's left at the bottom, um, if you burned your candle, this little guy is a wax um, insert. And so I like using these um, because I can just put it in instead of putting the wax melt in here. Like how you can see there's still like, despite trying to clean it and stuff, there's still a little bit of wax residue and it has that ring down in there. But when you use this, um, it sticks to the silicone and once it dries up, it's easy to just like pop it out. Um, I also use this if I have a wallflower um, that seems like it's like damaged or say I have a scent and I've been burning it for a couple of weeks and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired of it or I just need a break from it. I'll take it out, pour it in here. And then, um, you know, if a couple of days come by and I change my mind, then I can just warm it up safely in this little silicone on the warmer and then be able to have that oil or that warm oil um, fragrance 
fragrancing through the house. I don't know if fragrancing is a word. That feels very wrong, but I said it, but it feels so wrong. We'll just pretend that it didn't happen, okay? We'll just pretend. All right, um, our next one, moving on up. Like we are starting off with the Pinto, the Geo Metro, and then we'll move up to the um, Cadillac. So this one right here is like, you know, our little Chevy, our little tried and true. I mean, this one could be our Honda Accord. I would call it our Honda Accord. The last one, that was our, our Geo. Um, it was, it was, <laughs> It was definitely the little, um, as I'm like dusting this one off, dusty one. <laughs> but this one is like our tried and true little Honda, um, little Toyota Camry that like can't do no wrong. That's what this one is. Um, so this is the, I believe it's Arbor, is it Arbor 24? Something like that. But um, they sell this one at Joanne Fabrics and they also sell it at Hobby Lobby. I know some people, Hobby Lobby, I don't know. All I know is they sell it there and a lot of times they go for 50% off. Um, so I picked up this one from Joanne Fabrics. I wanna say it was maybe about like 24 bucks. It was on sale, like one of the 50% off or 30% off things. Whatever you do, don't purchase a regular price because nine times out of 10, it's gonna go on sale. And I think on Amazon, last time I checked, it was like 34 or something like that. Now this one is nice because it is a top down warmer. So there's like a little lamp in here and apologies for it being dusty. It's been in um, a box because I, I now have the Cadillac version that we'll talk about in a hot second. Um, so this one, I like this one because you're able to put your candle on um, and do the light and then it's gonna shine like straight down into the candle and it's only gonna warm the top portion of your candle. So it'll maybe go like maybe about down to right here um after like a good two to three hours you keep it on it's fine it does its little thing i would say you if you start to smell it like pretty quickly because the light with the heat like it really heats up really fast um a thing with these is because there's so much distance between the light itself and the candle sometimes you'll um, take a lid and you will put your lid here to stack it and bring it up closer and like theoretically you would probably stack more lids or like find uh, some little decorative thing and like put it there to bring this up closer to the light because the closer it is to the light the less you have to or the shorter amount of time that you have to burn it in order to well not burn it but the shorter time that you have to warm it to actually get the scent going um, and then you don't feel like, you know, you're wasting so much energy because it's going to take more energy for the light and the heat to get down in here. Um, so that is this one. I highly recommend this one as an entry one if you were looking for a lamp just specifically as a candle lamp and you don't really care about wax melts and all that kind of thing or you already have your own little wax melt thing. Um, really like that. <laughs> really like this one. I had this one for like... Mm, at least two or three years. So yeah, definitely trying to true that I know of. It only comes in this color, in the black color. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, I if it was somebody who's like, oh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but I want something that's good quality just to try out what it's like to have a candle lamp, I would highly recommend this one to start off with. Um, and that is the Aurora, I think 24 or 34. I don't know, but she is at Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby, and I'll try and link it down um, below. And there's that. All right. All right, and the moment everyone's been waiting for, this is the Cadillac version of the candle holder. And this is the Hestia candle lamp holder. And I'm gonna undo the little screw here. Uh -oh. Okay, so this is it fully extended, which is perfect. <laughs> of course, now I can't see any of my um, super tall candles. <laughs> um, where are you guys? Um, that's hilarious. Okay, let's see. I think they're down here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. Okay, definitely would not burn this one, but, um, <laughs> or not burn them, but definitely would not light this one right now. But this is the DW Home Pumpkin Pecan. Ooh, and as you can see, I have been warming it. 
not recently, but like during the fall. <laughs> but um, it slides right up under there. And this is a huge $15 candle from um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And it's 26.3 ounces, right? So perfectly fits under there, great. And then if we put little baby um, Aldi candle here, which is the same size roughly as a Bath and Body Works candle, you can uh, loosen up the arm and bring the um, candle lamp down so that it will be warming close to the candle. Ta -da! And I mean, like, if you want to, you probably could bump it up close like that. But I mean, then in my mind, it's like, oh, well, the scent is going to be getting trapped in here. And then you get a little weird um, ring around the rim and stuff. So I like to just leave it right there. Perfection. And you can see the difference on um, like here, like this one, the same layer would be right here. But the lamp is all the way up high. And this one, the lamp is like right, like right here, um, you can see. It's not too far off from the bottom of the glass. Um, so yeah, and with them like this, you can see the difference. And you know, theoretically, someone would be like, oh my gosh, is it really gonna make that big of a difference? I personally, I think so. And I feel like it looks more aesthetically pleasing. Um, this comes in this rose gold, color it also comes in a silver pewter and it also comes in gold and i love gold um oh, oh gosh sorry um and it also um comes with a dimmer switch with a timer so like this one i only purchased it as a dimmer switch so you can actually um that's another thing that the um, Aurora one doesn't have, but it has a dimmer so you can control like how bright do you want it to shine, um, how uh, low and stuff. So like you can um, be able to like say like, yeah, like I love this scent, I'll pipe it up, honey, like turn the light all the way up. Or if it's somebody who's very loud and proud, like fresh bamboo or fresh cut lilacs, and you're like, I like this, but I, I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, you know, dim it a little bit so it's not too bam, slap you in the face when you walk through the door. Um, and so that's what I like about these. And it also comes with a version with a timer, um, which is nice as well, because then that way you can time, like if you want it to be on for two hours. Um, I have another one that I purchased that I can show you that's similar to that. Um, I liked that one, but I have these little smart plugs that all sync up um, to an app on my phone so that I can turn switches on and off. And so if you have those kind of plugs and you'd rather control the timer or control the switch from your phone, then you have to get the one that just has the dimmer and not the timer because then that way you're able to just turn it on, turn it off whenever you want to. If you have the timer, then you have to physically do it on the actual cord itself, just in case you were um, interested or like thinking about that with the smart plugs. I like these because we have them in just about every room in the house. And then um, on my way home, I can easily like turn on the kitchen island one, turn on the one in the living room, turn on the one in the bedroom, turn on the one in the powder room, and I can set them to be on for like two hours. And when I come home, they smell amazing. If it's late at night and I forgot to turn one off, I can just look at my phone, click, turn it off. Everything's fine. Everything's safe. Um, so that's why I really love the Hestia um, lamps for sure. And these are, I believe, 64 for the non for the one without the timer is $64.99. And I believe the one um that has the timer, you, I want to say it was like 10 bucks more for $70, um, $4.99 or something similar. But the only place that I've ever seen them is on Amazon. Um, there are some other companies that make them that are a little bit different design, like maybe more modern or so, if you're interested in that. Um, but I don't know, it was just something classy um, about these and the way that the metal is made and kind of like with the darker shading as well, it kind of gives it like this I don't know, well, you know, a little mature look, a little, you know, a little character. Um, so yeah, it was just my vibe. 
Um, one hot second and I will grab the other one that has a timer. Okay, this is the point time where someone is like, how many candle warmers do you need? All of them. Okay, not really, I just need the Hestias, but anyhow, this one is, I believe it's, co oh, Cozy Berry. Okay, I like this one. I love marble, love gold. Um, this one, though, it is a version that has the um, the timer on it, and it also um, has a dimmable switch. And so this one was nice, but again, like the Aurora, as you can see, the light itself is like at least an inch in, or the surface of the light is at least an inch into the lamp. Um, and then if I put a candle on there, I'm still gonna have to put stuff to like stack it up to get it um, up to be close. And I wanna say, I can't remember if this one, yeah, and then like with this, like, this one isn't gonna fit. Sure, could I go like that? But it's still, it's not gonna fit. Um, <laughs> that was a mess. Um, so I liked this one. Um, we have this one in the guest room for right now and it um, will burn or it will warm fresh sheets for about a good two hours. Um, so you can see on here, like you set it and you'll hit it like once for it to be on and then more times if you wanna do one hour, two hour or four hours. And then this little dial doohickey here is um, the dimmer switch. And so yeah, this one's nice just for the guest bedroom because it's not hooked up to one of the smart plugs. And then that way, if a guest or someone comes in, like they can set it for a timer and um, leave it be and like be like, oh, okay, like it's gonna turn off on its own and not worry if they're not um, super comfortable with the little smart um, plugs and whatnot. And so like this one's nice. I wanna say that this one was around 50 something or 60 something when I purchased it. If I had to purchase a candle warmer again, like hands down, I'm gonna purchase the Cadillac. Even if you want the dimmer, like you can still purchase this one and um, just pay the extra 10 bucks in order to have the timer part available. But I really just, I really love having the adjustable um, arm. It, it's amazing. Um, it really changes everything up. Is it worth the extra 40 bucks? Uh, to the average person, probably not. They wouldn't mind like stacking a couple of things to put their candle up um, to be closer. But for a candle lover like myself, I love my little Hestia lamp, love it to death. Highly recommend, highly recommend. If you wanna treat yourself or you wanna do a luxury gift for someone um, who enjoys candles, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but you know, if you like this aesthetic, this is more pleasing, or if you wanna, you know, go with the tried and true, then hey, these aren't bad either. Like these are amazing. And you know, if you are a wax warmer lover, then you can just try the one um, at Aldi's I showed earlier. You know, it's, it's really all up to you. They're all different price points. So, you know, um, yeah, it's really up to you. They're all at different price points. So, you know, you gotta do what's best for you and your budget. But um, yeah, I hope that this was helpful for anyone who is considering buying a candle lamp or just curious as to um, what the people who warm candles instead of lighting them do. Um, but anyhow, thanks for hanging out. We are still on the road to a thousand by June. So subscribe if you wanna know more about candles or candle lamps, please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.